Hello students and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the second chapter of your computer science book. The name of the chapter is Working with Windows 7 and the name of the book is Click and Login for Class 5. Now, before we proceed with this lesson, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, press the like button and turn on the notification bell to get the latest update of my upcoming videos. Let's get into this chapter and let's learn some new things. In this chapter, we will learn about Home Group, Windows Search, Windows Taskbar, Desktop, Performance Improvement, Display, Many Windows, Exploring Libraries and we will learn new things about Windows Mobile Phone. Now, after looking so much of content, I am sure that some of your faces might be like this little young boy. No, 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 I'm not talking about this green coronavirus. I'm talking about this young little boy who wants to study. But don't worry, I will teach you in the easy way so that you can learn very smartly. Let's jump into the dashboard first. As we know about Windows 7, it is being used from past few years and it is the operating system developed by Microsoft and widely being used at present in various desktop and laptops. Here is the logo of Windows 7. Now let us explore some new and upgraded features. At first is the home group. Now you might be thinking what is a home group? Home group helps you to easily connect two or more PCs running on Windows 7 on home network for sharing pictures, music, video, document and printer on the home group. Now let's see some benefits of home group. It allows to share media and documents, libraries with other people in home group. Number second, we can create password for your home group. And number three, we can make your files read only to avoid modifications like edit and delete. Now let's get into the second hashtag Windows search. It enables you to look and search for your files and, fol and folder in the computer hard disk library and other computer networks. Now you might be thinking where we can find the search box. It's so simple. To make a search, click on start menu. You will find the search box on right bottom corner. Now let's check out the third hashtag. Windows Taskbar Windows 7 Taskbar is more flexible and filled with more powerful features than Windows Vista. Windows Vista is the previous version of Windows 7. So this is the reason why we get some new features like jump list, pinning and live taskbar preview. Let us learn jump list. Jump list enable you to directly open document, pictures, songs and website that you use often. Now what are the steps to view jump list? There are few steps to follow. Number one, click right on the program button of the taskbar. Then a small view will appear to show the jump list. Another feature is pinning. Now with pinning you can pin the programs that you want to access more often on taskbar rather than going to start menu to access. Now what are the steps for pinning? First, open the program you want to pin on taskbar. Right click on the icon of the program and third click on pin this program on taskbar. Now let's learn about live taskbar previews. It allows you to see the live program preview on taskbar. Now what are the steps? It is very easy. Just bring the mouse over pinned program to preview the thumbnail view of the window. Now let's go to the fourth hashtag that is desktop. Now I'm not talking about the desktop that you keep on the table. A Windows desktop is the first screen of your computer that you see on the monitor. And in Windows 7, desktop are easy to operate and useful. Now let us talk about the features of Windows 7 desktop. Number one is Snap. As you can see in the example, 
These types of windows are called snapping windows. It is a quick and easy way to resize the window by dragging the title to the edge of the screen. Coming up next is improved gadgets. In Windows 7 we get movable gadgets that you can stick anywhere on the desktop. They are more flexible, accurate and fun tool. Now some of the gadgets name are calendar, clock, CPU meter, slide review and etc. Let's go to the fifth hashtag that is performance improvement. Now developers work a lot on performance of the Windows 7 to make it more effective. Some of the improvements are sleep. Now Windows 7 can sleep, resume and reconnect network more quickly. We also get fast USB drive and better memory use. And we can pair Windows 7 with touchscreen computers also and use the fingers to give instruction. Now let's go to the hashtag 6 displaying many windows at a time. Now this feature is very important because if when more than one program of on your desktop, your desktop can quickly fill with windows. As in this example. In Windows 7, we can easily manage multiple windows. Let's see how. There are four simple ways to arrange multiple windows as per your requirement or need. Number one is cascade view or cas cascade window. Number two is show windows tagged. And number three is show windows side by side. Now where you can find all the above window view? Just open the multiple window that you want to view. Click mouse on the taskbar and you will find all the views in the menu. Now let's see all types of windows view. As you can see the cascade window is arrangement of windows in cascade manner. The next is show window stacked where we split use of two or more windows. The next is show window side by side. In here multiple size window can be seen. If you have a computer you can try some of these shortcuts on your computer screen. Our seventh hashtag is exploring libraries. Now here a library does not mean I will take you to the book again. A library stores many files and folders that we store on a computer. As in the diagram you can see the red line shows four libraries in the computer. Number one is document library. Number two is music library and number three is picture library. Number four video library. Now let's go to the sixth hashtag. Sorry the eight hashtag windows mobile. Now this is the last point. Windows mobile is a windows based mobile operating system that is developed by Microsoft. Some of the features of Microsoft Windows Mobile are it allows multiple tasking. Internet Explorer and Windows Media are the default media players of the Windows Mobile. And share internet connection with computers via USB, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So that's it students. Thank, thank you for watching my video. All the answers are there in the description.